When I was a kid, I used to think that pork chops and karate chops were the same thing. I thought they were both pork chops. And because they were my favorite, because my grandma thought this was cute, she let me keep doing it. No big deal. So, how was it? You, uh, you shrek it, buddy. So let's just have fun this season. Let's be, be that family that we talked about, have each other's back at all times, and just work hard. Like, work hard and we'll have fun. You just wanna have fun. That's the main thing. Remember, it's not all about the trophy. From a first glance, the speech and debate team at Cypress Woods High School seems like a joyful group of teenagers united for a common purpose. However, the team is faced with the challenge of rebuilding team camaraderie after their last coach resigned in October of the previous school year. Last year, we didn't really have, we had a lot of difficulties because we didn't have a debate coach after Martin left. Uh, Miss Johnson took over and like about right after he was gone and the, and the booster club did their part too. But a lot of the difficulties in terms of going to tournaments came from the lack of having someone who was familiar with the debate world. I know a lot of challenges that I faced was like, I didn't know anything. I was like, oh my God, what is a case? What is, what's a, a block? What's all this? And that was really the major one was figuring it out for ourselves. Another challenge was just the team wasn't really a team. I thought like I had to go to certain people and even then sometimes they were too stressed out. So I had to really learn for myself. Ms. Adiemi, the new speech and debate coach, may have come off a bit rough in her introductions, but she came in determined to reunite the team. The, my first observation is that there just needs to be structure, that's all. Um, I think there's a lot of really good kids, um, students that are hungry to achieve and do well nationally and in the state and I just felt that I feel that they just need some guidance in the right direction and they can excel. Um, when when Miss A came to work with us though, she is by far one of the coolest people to teach for like to have a debate coach as. She lets us she lets us do our own thing and she understands that like we know how to do debate and LD stuff the best. So, I really appreciate that. And she's also cool because she's really competitive and she's like you got to win tournaments and takes and she's real and she sets goals for us. It was really cool of her. The week before Cypress Woods was to host a Wildcat Classic, Ms. Adiemi was suddenly hospitalized. I really hope Coach A comes back from the hospital. I don't know what happened, and I hope that it's not serious enough that she won't return. I want to do really well this year in debate, and I don't think that I can do that if I'm in the same situation, in the same environment as I was last year. Thankfully, the previous coach, Mr. Martin, was able to come in and pick up planning the tournament where Ms. Adiemi left off. The tournament began my first year coaching here. I don't even remember when that was, 2000, was that nine, I guess? 2009, 2010 was my first year here. We started hosting a high school speech and debate tournament on this campus. We've hosted one here every year since, and the tournament has grown into one of the biggest tournaments in the state, in the country. Um, this is my first year outside of the classroom here since I, the tournament began, and I was asked to sort of come back in and help out the last minute, and that's what we do in the speech and debate community. We step up, we help each other when there's a need, and so I was glad to do it. So technically, what I'm doing is um, directing the seventh annual Wildcat Classic. Please send the team or a member of the team to the top of the stairs to meet Mr. Ryan. Yeah, it is a little weird, um, but weird in a good way. Um, and so here's what I mean by that. Um, everyone that I've encountered in the hallways, it's been with a smile, and that's been absolutely phenomenal the last couple of days to see people that I worked with alongside, you know, for for several years and had wonderful working relationships with to see former students and and meet new people here at the woods is always a good thing for me. Um, it warms me up and makes me happy. I mean, he called me a clown. So that was that was a thing. Um, I don't know if that's his way of love. He I mean, he put me in charge of stuff and he said I did an okay job. So I mean, that's caring. It's kind of funny to watch because everybody's so awkward around him because now he's gone and now he's back and I never had the chance to know him so it's a pretty fun experience to look on from the outside and the in at the same time. On the second day of the tournament, Ms. Adiemi was released from the hospital and came to check in on how things were going. Hey! 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 
even with the relief of seeing Ms. Adiemi return, the team felt stressed near the end of the tournament. Okay. This is a disaster. It was a I guess a bit of a mess and that isn't like, I mean that's just how running a tournament works, right? Everyone was running on fumes at that point in the tournament. I believe that was Saturday night and that was the last hour, that was the absolute last hours of the tournament. So it was a mess at that point in the tournament but not like in a way that makes it distinct from every other tournament ever. With all of the students hard work done, they could finally go home. I'm just really glad you came, especially in this late. I appreciate you saying it, and you're totally welcome. It really is not a big deal. Yeah, see All right, tomorrow. make sure your parents are here. Cywoods 2K15 tournament finally done. I think that the teams become more supportive of one another, like compared to last year. Last year, everyone was kind of fended for themselves, and this year, everyone's actually putting in the effort. I think the family atmosphere is a little better. We still have a long way to go, but you know, again, you always have to crawl before you walk. And then my, my, my goal now is that also um, for my students to achieve their goals, because there's no point of me making goals and the students don't benefit from, from being in the activity. So when I see those goals met by those students, like when a student breaks or when that's a goal, or that's a goal that's already been set, or when a student um, makes it to finals for the first time with their piece, Ah, that gives me so much joy. I'm like, yes! Like, oh my gosh, it's so awesome. This is the reunion.